good morning. It's 7.41am. Back on deck, back at home, into full swing here. Um, getting, got to get a lot of catching up done. This is The Viewer's Voice with Dr. Jason W. Morrison, Theologist. Now, <clears throat> let's start from here. We had just made it too. My last comment that you read out said, I've added the playlist again. It's really odd that it didn't show up for you. When I look at your last video, the link is still showing for me. Here is the link to the videos again. Now this is a very important link because it's got a, I had a look at it. I'm even on the link um, of XJWs and things like that. It's just made it. Put it there. I better subscribe. I subscribe to his channel. He's got all these links. Very important. Very important. Let's go back. Uh-oh. <clears throat> What have I done? Gee, I'm a nuisance for this, aren't I? Where is he? Where did I start? There. Okay. Here we go. Venora Moon, when you enlarge your screen, I think it cuts off your comments. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Thanks, Venora. Beautiful sunset. Thank you. Venora Moon, hey, Doc. Thank you for doing this channel. I know it takes work, but I really appreciate it. Thanks. It's a pleasure, Venora. Jenny B 52 thanks, Doc, for everything you do and will be doing for us. Thanks for sharing the sunrise, too. Well, I want to apologise because the trip back got very rough. There was no way I was going to be able to record anything. <coughs> Just got too rough. JW Suicides, apologies that my comment isn't relevant to your video. I've seen you supporting Stuart in Canada, XJ Dub channel. He's now being arrested and going through the court system. Many of us want to help, and I thought you might have your own professional aspects to contribute. Or just be another decent bloke there for him. Thank you. Yeah, I have spoken to Stuart via comment, and um, it's a little bit out of reach for me because I'm not a legal um, per person, even though I'm legally a minister, but um, he needs to find a Christian minister that can push back at the Watchtower's lies and deceit. Jen Burlock, good job on comparing what the actual Greek word was and how they manipulated the book of lies to fit their own agenda. Have fun fishing too. Thanks, Jen. That was a trip and a half, I tell you that. Green Goddess, I love the Bible, but I really don't like listening to their wicked reader on their website. Doc, it's triggering. Yeah, I under fully understand that. I get that you're showing impartiality by using it, but not sure I can take it. It creeps me out listening to their voices, and I fully understand that, and I said I was sorry. And Green Goddess says, no apology necessary, I want you to get them out, get the JWs out. I pray constantly for that. I just was so deeply indoctrinated, and I literally can't listen to more than little snippets of their talks and the voices of the men in the lead without feeling like my subconscious is taking over and my conscience wants to go to sleep. It's crazy. The old talks from my childhood especially, it makes me just sick knowing how demonic it is. I just can't. Um, I love your work though, and it is a good, e and it is good, and it is a good easy to wake them by using their own stuff, but I have nightmares until I finally purge my life of every piece of their literature and through prayer have found peace in sleep. I didn't mean to complain, but only to be honest, I don't think you were complaining, I fully understand. I think I can't be the only one who triggers by these org stuff, yeah? So I thought I'd share my reality. And that's what this is all about, sharing a reality. Because knowledge is power, it sure is. And we can't read your mind. If you don't say something, I don't know. Um, may the Lord... Oh, hang on, there's power. I appreciate everything you do more than you know. I oh, thank you so much to all of you. God bless your efforts. Thank you for being a seed planter. May the Lord wake his own as he wills through you. Thank you, Green Goddess. Le Breton Francois, and I can't read French. I'm so sorry, but I'll give you a love art there. Janice Wilson, thank you, Dr. Jason, for your videos, which I enjoy watching every time in exposing more lies and deceits of the Watchtower. Thank you for praying for Stuart XJ Dub. I've seen that video when they arrested him. I really feel for Stuart. He needs all the support from us that he can get. We pray for his help from the Father in heaven. Amen. Thanks, Janice. 
Jenny Burlock. Duplantis is an idiot. Yeah, he's definitely different, isn't he? Um, and the followers are a sad bunch. I don't think you could put that in a, in a much clearer language. That is so straight to the point. I saw one preacher say, your prayers will not be heard unless you send some seed money, yeah. But back to the scriptures, they lied about how much they gave. So in my belief, they lied too because to cause for to the cause of Je for Jesus as their saviour. And if you watch the Netflix series AD, which um, Jenny mentions a lot, it's all about the Jesus and it shows this part where the Holy Spirit took their lives. Shocking, yes, but it happened. It's too bad Stuart can't get the likes of Angus Stewart from Australia. I, yeah, well, Angus Stewart's actually uh, from South Africa and he's a dairy farmer as well. He's got a dairy farm, I believe. Um, I prayed to Doc and told him he was just like Paul being thrown in jail. Yeah, and a big amen to, and to you, Jen. Thanks, Jenny. Um, okay, XJW born in. Oh, my God. How can a terrible televangelist like that get 70, 750,000 people to follow him like that and give him money? Now, this is all part of what I have to deal with as a theologist, unraveling people's minds to the con. That preacher was so awful, I couldn't watch him much longer. I agree, this is awful. Yes, what happened to Stuart was wrong. He's out now and just made another great video. He's not allowed to be there when the JWs are. So when, so he went when they were not there and wore his Jehovah suit. He brought a watchtower with him and talked to a man from the Muslim faith. They had a great conversation. Thanks so much for this video. XJW born in. Um, JW suicide said, it's JW born in. The JWs have been sneaky. That charge against Stuart means that he can't be near the two JWs who bought the case. Trouble is, he doesn't know the, who these two people are or what they look like. That is disgraceful, isn't it? XJW, yes, I caught that too. It's disgusting. The police even tried intimidation a few times prior, coming to Stuart's residence unannounced. Those two lady detectives making him talk to them on the street, being quite rude to the boot, etc. I noticed once a few officers had it out for you. They can help along the process of making your life quite a bit miserable, making you get an attorney, spend money, so even when you get out of trouble, you had to spend a bunch of dollars. Not only did the Watchtower have it out for Stuart. Hang on. I just want to finish this video here. I've got videos coming. I'm back into the archives. I'm back into the archives viewer. I've got so much to catch up on. Watched how I have it out for Stuart. So did a few of the officers that he had to deal with. Exactly right. And there's more here. Oh, I talked. Oh, I talked to Honest Conscience Day, formerly Bodybuilding Passion Week. Your name come up a bunch of times. We love you. Hope you're doing great. There you go. Um, for JW suicides. Um, JW suicides. Uh, no, not funny at all. Um, I've got through so many jets bought by others in order to spread the word myself. Wow, JW suicides. Thank you for saying some of the issues between the Old Testament and the New Testament. It's a pleasure. Thank you for supporting Stuart. I'll share your video with him. Thank you. I feel for Stuart. I was thinking about him all weekend, how we could have him here in Australia just for a break and to show our support and to care for him. It's not the first time Watchtower has bribed the authority. How hypocritical. I bet it's not. Watchtower is a vicious and nasty organisation, Matilda. Lisa Osborne. What? Why? I thought in all criminal prosecutions the accused shall enjoy the right to be confronted with the witnesses against him. So did I. There's some really weird stuff going on here, and, and Stuart's onto it. I reckon he'll unravel it. Green Goddess, I took a holiday, and there are so many of your videos I missed. I'm liking what you're doing. Maybe take a bit to catch up. Second Corinthians, but I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve by his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. This verse comes to mind as you teach the simple gospel that is so far from what JWs and many religions teach. This hit me like a brick after I found the simplicity of the gospel in Christ's finished work on the cross and that it is our faith that makes us well. Just thought I'd share for readers. It's 
quite really quite hard to get the world base uh, get the world based salvation out of your head mm. when it's been so drilled in. This scripture says it all. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now that you purge by your Spirit, no different than when you put the Word in Mary's womb, conceived your Word in her womb. Purge and recalibrate Green Goddess's mind in Jesus' name and anybody else listening right now that has been indoctrinated to the point where it's become rumination in their mind. In Jesus' name, amen. I've got something to tell you about the flight home too when I get to the end of this. 2 Corinthians 11.3 I've got to give Green Goddess the indication that I've read her thing. Very nice Dr. Morrison. Malcolm Lightfoot. Now I'm not sure about Malcolm Lightfoot. I think Devin Moon told me to sack this guy. I think he's a Jehovah Witness. Um, yeah, I think he is. Anyway, Green Goddess, Judge McClellan, Australia Commission on Child Abuse and Jehovah Witnesses. He was brilliant, wasn't he? Just watching this now, you may want to see this. Yeah, he was good, Judge McClellan. Jenny B, 52, good lesson. And I just went through what Moses had to do before building the tabernacle and it made me tired. <laughs> it's, isn't it hard? Oh, don't waste your time with it. Yet I... Yet I like how Benny Hinn broke down what each part meant. Isn't it wonderful? That's why I put it on. Most don't do that. <clears throat> but Saul didn't actually take a stone, but handed it off to another person. That's what the watchtower does, isn't it? He was still guilty by participating in the stoning of Stephen. In legal terms, it's guilt by association. It's interesting how a person does not think he is a spirit. To me, that is a ludicrous thought to have. It sure is, Jenny. Narcissism and watchtower. Is that right? Narcissism and watchtower. I wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if someone in the Kingdom Hall burned it down. So those same people could burn the, blame the apostates. So we told you how wicked the apostates are. Mm, those of us who are out know who the real apostates are. Thank you, Nelson. Barry Gibbons, that's right. Get out and live. This is not a rehearsal. Exactly. Green Goddess, excellent. I'm catching up a bit. So am I, Green Goddess. One of the richest charities. Repeat that three times. Now, add the fact that they give nothing to anyone, ever. If you were starving in the street, you couldn't get a nickel from this charity. It seems that way, doesn't it? Green Goddess, Holy Standard. The Holy Standards of the Org and its Spirit-appointed elders and anointed leaders are evident here tree of rotten fruit that it may appear to be this is god's tree of truth goodness no great i watched this entire case study word for word it was very the very first thing that opened my eyes to the corruption of the society i myself was abused in why because of this all this woke me up i thought my life experience was an isolated incident but it is rampant in this most unholy of holies I challenge anyone to watch the entire ARC case study 29, including Jeffrey Jackson's testimony, which is contemptuous at best, and then read Crisis of Conscience by Ray Franz and try to be a JW with a clear conscience and with confidence that the org is the truth. God's channel, a tree of good fruit, an org of love. I could not live this lie another moment. Oh, gosh, it's a nightmare, this organization. That was new to me. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Green Goddess, what I really appreciate about your channel, exposing the JW Doctrine policy, I'd like that it's like a one-stop shop. I had to search out all this info, but you are focusing on the relevant, important issues and bringing them to anyone watching your channel. This is good. God bless your efforts. Thank you, Green Goddess. Green Goddess. I was skimming through the old 70s video part, seen it, at least three times as you know once is mute then enough to make you sick and i don't know if you shouted the past where the elder told the father i hope your child gets what is hepatitis i think talk about demonic that's something i can only imagine an angry underfed baal would say exactly oh excuse me god green goddess truth and righteousness versus lies and deceit godly versus evil period very pretty simple. One lie doeth a liar make. 
theocratic warfare, lying and deceit. They should not be, there should not be room for lies in anything called the truth. Exactly. Well, Simon, what language do you speak? It certainly is in English. Yeah, well, I can't give you anything for that, mate. That's just silly, silly gibberish. Venora Moon, really enjoyed this reading. So uplifting. Miss hearing you. I'm coming back online, Venora. Moses Livingston. Now, this guy, I don't know who this guy, I've got a, Inter Jenny Bellock says, interesting, I didn't take six months or more for him to get baptized, just like Philip the Ethiopian. It's also interesting to note that the lame man didn't have faith until after his healing. That's a very interesting point. I too love hearing your explanations about what it should say, opposed to what the translators thought should be there. Mm. Now this is Moses Livingston. Hi Moses. The difference is that Jews and Jewish proselytes back in the first century were already practicing or living in harmony with Bible principles, meaning they already had the knowledge that there were no big changes they needed to make regarding lifestyle. Well, I don't know about that, Moses, because they had to make big changes when the law was annulled through the finished work of Christ. Um, Moses, the Acts of Jehovah's Witnesses today are the modern-day continuation of the Acts of Apostles that began in the first century. Um, I don't believe that to be true because the apostles in the first century didn't lie. Closing in on time, Jesus spoke about when he said, And I saw another angel ascending from the sunrise, having a seal of the living God. And he called with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was granted to harm the earth and the sea, saying, Don't harm the earth or the sea or the trees until after what we have sealed the slaves of our God in the foreheads. I don't even know what that means, Moses, really, honestly, mate. The Jehovah Witness organization, Watchtower Society, Publication and Tract and all the rest of it is a cult. Plain and simple, it's a cult. This is Dr. Jason W. Morrison, Theologist, New South Wales, Australia at 7.58am. Thank you for listening and bye for now. Yeah, Dr. Jason Morrison, Theologist again. I just want to say thank you for watching the videos and I uh, hope you got plenty of uh, self-rediscovery and freedom out of it. If you watched it on YouTube, please share or like, um, maybe even comment. If you watch it on Facebook, like, comment, share. Um, but most of all, get out and live. This isn't a rehearsal. You've got a one of life. Don't let your loyalty and your faithfulness blind you to the life that you should be experiencing. Till the next video, thank you for watching and bye for now.